What's up everybody and today we're going to be talking about Persona 3, the Fez edition for that matter and just to get it out of the way, the Fez edition is an enhanced upgraded version of the original Persona 3 that came out in the PlayStation 2. Now don't get me wrong when I say enhanced updated version, this game is still on the PlayStation 2 but they added a couple things extra which I believe came out a year after the original edition. Now Persona 3 originally came out I believe back in 2000. Six for the PlayStation 2 and in Persona 3 you come in as a transfer student and your whole Job basically is you work with a bunch of different kids who you go to school with to defeat shadows who are basically threatening the end of the world as we know it and Throughout this game it takes a lot of different plot twists It takes a lot of different routes that makes the game very intriguing now. I beat this game in about 64 hours. Yep this game was a commitment, don't get me wrong, but a very good one in that. Now, I've always looked at the Persona series as kind of a more adult Pokemon game, to an extent. Which, let me explain that before I get a lot of hatred here. Now, within the Persona series, first off, in the first couple games, you capture demons, you can negotiate with them, get them to join your team. In Persona 3, and I believe Persona 4, which, don't quote me on Persona 4, because I haven't played it yet, um... You negotiate with what are called shadows, which are basically kind of like demons, but enemies and whatnot. Um, and basically you beat them to advance in the game, but you could also kind of gain them to join your team. Now, for many of you people who are probably asking, what is a persona in that matter? Now, the personas are different basically creatures that are on your side each one they kind of have different move sets they kind of have different abilities which makes it a, a lot like pokemon to that extent where you know some of them are going to have electric attacks fire attacks light attacks dark attacks ice attacks wind attacks and they have weaknesses they have their strengths and they go good against different opponents which is where the similarity to Pokemon kind of draws its lines. Now, in itself, it's, it's a very cool concept. What you can also do is fuse different personas to make them stronger. Now, in this game, the story is pretty much... There's an hour that happens after midnight. It's called the Dark Hour. And during that time, a lot of weird stuff happens. People kind of die from what I got out of it. People kind of get possessed. Um, and you're trying to fight to end that dark hour from happening. Now, I've been playing this game since probably June when I look at it. And uh, it was a very tedious game. I'm not going to say the game was hard. Because if you know what you're doing and you kind of understand the concept of how Persona plays. The game played fantastic. Um, what you do throughout the game is you climb up this kind of big tower that only appears in the dark hour called Tartarus. Um, there's about 264 floors of it, uh, and you just kind of, you know, keep climbing until you reach the boss, beat the boss, keep advancing, even though due to story conflicts, certain areas you can't get to until you finish a different part of the story, then that area unlocks and you keep going. Uh, Tartarus in itself is kind of tedious, but you do get to level up, you know, get different items, beat different enemies, and I do believe that in itself... It's cool that this game is kind of a one dungeon theme because throughout different floors of Tartarus the theme kind of changes. But it is a little bit repetitive in that aspect as well. If you guys started off like I did with Persona 5, this game's going to feel a little dated. But that doesn't really stop the game from being amazing. Um, so you get to meet different characters as I mentioned throughout the game and pretty much... As you meet them, you can add them to your team, equip them with different items and, and different, uh, that, that's pretty much it, yeah, different items, weapons, equipment, armor, stuff like that to make them stronger. But where the persona aspect of it comes in is a little interesting. So pretty much as your character levels up, he only really, he or she really only gains uh, hit points and spirit points. The personas you have equipped also level up, where it becomes a little bit more complex than your traditional RPG. So, you can level up your personas to get different moves, different abilities, strength, endurance, luck, agility, all that. So, your personas are basically a part of you. Um, 
you can only level your character up so much and expect so much. I guess that's the way I'm trying to say it. For the sure fact that if you don't have your personas leveled up, hear me out. If you go into a boss fight and you're a level 75, your personas a level like 12, you're going to get your ass kicked. That's pretty much how I'm saying it. You have to be equally leveled up across the board, which makes this game a little more complex. I do love this game. I, uh, I started playing back in June, as I mentioned. The story drove me, and it does get a little tedious at points, but at the same time, if you like JRPGs, you're going to love Persona 3. Uh, a lot of feeling went into this game, a lot of different social links went into this game. Let me go into social links real quick before I end this. You get to meet different NPCs throughout the game, and as you create and grow bonds with them, your social links increase. So where that actually matters, it comes in when you're trying to fuse personas. Now, different personas are different types. Um, so if we want to compare it to Pokemon, like Squirtle's a water type, different personas are like heroes, jokers, lovers, this, that. And if you create the corresponding social bond, you get bonus XP when fusing these personas. So basically they came out, they come out stronger than they would stock. Um, and they come out with more moves, they come out just ready to fight better. The social links are definitely recommended to help you better play the game. And that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it. Persona 3 is a great JRPG that came out for the PlayStation 2. And it's pretty much where the series, I believe, started to become popular. I know 4 was very popular. I know 5 is probably the most popular in the series. And I would definitely recommend playing this if you still have a PS2, if you haven't played it. I think it's on the PlayStation Store for the PS3 still. But definitely check this one out, guys. Persona 3, if you can pick up the Fez Edition like I did, which includes like a secondary story. Um, or if you can even pick up the original, which I've heard is a little harder to actually play. It's a little less balanced. But check these out, guys. Great art JRPGs. They definitely are worth the play. Especially if you play Persona 5 and you're looking to get more into the series, the Shin Megami Tensai series, I definitely recommend it. Um, it is time consuming. You're going to kind of waste a lot of time like I wasted. Not wasted, but like I spent three months with it. But definitely check these out, guys. Thank you for watching. That's my little quick review and overthought of it. Like, share, subscribe. Until next time, I'll catch you later, guys. It's time to put this one on the shelf. See you, bye.